Hey everybody and welcome back to another review, this time for Overloop on the Nintendo Switch. It's also available on Steam. I can subscribe and let's get to it. Overloop tries to answer that question of what happens when you stop cloning sheep and start cloning people, and the moral implications within. Such as, do they have the same rights as the original? Although this does actually have a serious point to it, it is done in more of a tongue-in-cheek way, but the story can be funny at times. But I did feel the harsh reality is always there, and you can see and feel it when you talk to some of the NPCs. In a case of, oh no, not another platform puzzler game, Overloop thankfully does something a little different. While it's actually true you get your normal left, right, jump, fire, weapon, etc, etc, but where Overloop differs is its puzzling aspect, and more specifically, the cloning gun. Starting with just one clone at a time, and more to follow with upgrades, you have to use these clones in many different ways, like standing on them, using them as decoys, or even just simply standing on a pressure pad to open lifts or activate various things to help in your quest. Although sometimes there is a need to sacrifice your clones, in the interest of good and getting the job done, of course. And I dare you not to laugh during some of these moments that and with a press of a button, you can explode the current clone in a satisfactory swoosh, painting the area in your clone's body parts. Basically, you can do what you want to these clones, as long as the original survives, and you even get to see how many you have used with each cloning. Controlling, however, all of this at the same time did feel a little fiddly, and unfortunately I did not seem to get over it but I kind of felt it was the nature of the beast. At times over Loop will ask what seems to be a lot from the gamer, and later on even more turning the game upside down, literally, with a little added game mechanic. But mainly it's figuring out how to press some buttons, get past some laser beams, a little bit of shooting and defending against enemies and also navigate over or under blocks while doing all of the above just to get from one door to the other. Impressively though, the game does not really get boring, even though it may kind of sound like it should do. In part, this is due to clever levels and some upgrades here and there, introducing more clones or temporary alternative mechanics. I felt, apart from the fiddly finger decks out that you have to do at times, Overloop did feel a little short, although it can be extended a little due to collecting blue shards that's needed for the end of the game, but I won't spoil that. The pixel visuals looked great and had some nice details here and there, and gave a great feel with crowds dotted about giving a little bit of life to the place, and also weaving in and out of the foreground and background like they were part of the game instead of just some picture in the background. The music was pretty decent and I did not turn it down, but then even if I wanted to turn it down, there wasn't the option to do so but it did feel relaxing and felt a good fit to the stress induced in some of the actual later levels. The other sound effects was good and helped with the atmosphere, and speaking was that weird garble talk with text. Never been a great fan of it, but it is what it is. And that brings us on to the score. In short, Overloop is a great platformer puzzler with a different feel to the most. The cloning was smooth, if not a little fiddly at times, the story was funny and worked well with a little surprise or twist later on. I'm giving Overloop a 7 out of 10. I loved playing it, but not sure I'd pay full price for it. Although, knock £5 off that price and I think we have a winner here. So thanks for sticking with me to the end of this review, I'd be honoured if you subscribe to the channel and also like this video. There's also a link to our Discord below, so take care wherever you are, because life is better when we game together.